Smart Sound. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Cider Pop Central. It has been a fair while since I've actually uh, done what can most definitely be classed as a cider pop, and today, boy howdy, we are really scraping the bottom of the proverbial, oh my god, what the bloody hell is this, this shouldn't even exist, barrel. Um, because, well, I can understand certain beer companies looking at ciders and going, hey, we can do that. Bloody hell, I can even take companies like PIMS or, or, or something like that going, yeah, we can try that, you know, we'll give it a go. Can sort of let that slide, maybe. But when it comes to certain spirit companies trying to take, um, trying to dip their fingers into the cider pies, as it were, you, now, well, you basically have to start questioning, like, where is this actually going to stop? Case in point, today's cider pop of choice is Smirnoff Cider. Yeah, you heard me right. Smirnoff Cider. Passion fruit and lime. Uh, for those that have been living under a rock the last couple of years, yes, Smirnoff, the company that are most well known for making vodka, have decided, hey, you know what? We can make ciders as well. Let's do it. And so, before us today, we have Smirnoff Cider with passion fruit and lime. <sighs> Why does this thing even exist? I really don't know. Uh, from the strange milk bottle shaped design to it, to just, well, it's a vodka company making cider. Arrgh! Well, cider pop, should I say. Then It's definitely not going to be cider. It's a cider pop. It even says on the front here, Cider with Smirnoff Vodka, I shit you not, passion fruit and lime fruit flavours. Not even anything real in this. Lightly carbonated, oh that's good. Um, as you can see, it comes in 500ml bottles of this shape and is a pretty bog standard 4% ABV. But yeah, cider with vodka. Oh boy, we're gonna have fun with this one. Uh, on the back. Discover a new take on cider, you can say that again, a new take on cider from Smirnoff. A delicious mix of cider, passion fruit and lime fruit flavours and Smirnoff vodka. Lightly carbonated, crisp on flavour for a refreshing taste. And uh, it's also available in raspberry and pomegranate fruit flavour, just in case you wanted to try another one of these out. Um, but the good thing is it sort of doesn't class itself as a cider. It says brewed mixed drink. Cider mixed with Smirnoff vodka, flavourings including passion fruit and lime flavourings, and colouring. So they, I mean, it's got the full triad of things that shouldn't really be in a drink, to be fair. Um, but, as is always the case, I'm going to go into this completely unbiased. You never know, this might be absolutely fantastic. These guys might be able to like show these other mass-produced cider companies actually how to make a pretty decent cider pop. Um, but I'm going to say my expectations aren't that high. Anyway, enough jabbering on. I'm already like three and a half minutes into the video. Let's get this top off and, well, just, just see what lies underneath. I never thought I'd see the day I'd be having a smell of cider, but what does it smell of? Disgusting. <coughs> oh wow. Um, I'm not even making that up. That is, that has got to be one of the most disgusting smelling things. Oh boy. Uh, what, how to describe that? It's, there's, there's passion fruit, but it smells like it's rotten. And it's also... It smells mouldy. I'm not even kidding. This does. It's it's in date, isn't it? Yeah, it is well in date. That that actually does smell of mould, musty, and just rotten passion fruit with something else in there, which I really I can't put my finger on. But I do not want to smell that anymore. Oh my goodness, mate. Ah, uh, this isn't a good start. Right. Let's get it poured out. Let's just let's just see. Oh wow. 
I can't, I can't even begin to describe to you guys what that fully smelt like. That was... That was absolutely vile. Um, right, well, colour, you've seen it already because it was in a clear bottle, but it is definitely lightly... I can smell it from here. Oh my goodness me. Um, it's lightly carbonated, as you can see, and it actually does kind of look like a cider, but that's mainly because it's not got any, like, red fruit flavourings or anything in it. So, um, and colouring. So, this colour is not natural at all. So, uh, you know, obviously take that with a pinch of salt, but I don't even... I don't even need to get my nose up to the glass to smell this. Um, oh, it's it. This is it. Smells. How to describe this? It's um. When you you know when you um. When when you when you've done the dishes and you've left the cloth out and you've not really wrung it like fully fully dry and stuff and it's maybe got like a couple of bits of food left in that and you get that really musty off sort of smell that sort of permeates your kitchen that's what this sort of smells like mixed with unnatural passion fruit and just yeah just generally smells really really unpleasant so uh well here we go guys it's uh Let's see what it tastes like. I'm not looking forward to it, but cheers anyway. And yeah, these two Smirnoff cider, passion fruit and lime. Cheers. Okay. Well, it tastes better than it smells, but wow, wow, wow! You can you can tell there is nothing real in that drink at all. Typical thick, syrupy, cloying texture to it. Uh, incredibly sweet, as is to be expected from all these um, all these sorts of cider pops. Uh, but strangely enough, you can actually taste that there is vodka in this, which is just... It, it just shouldn't belong in this thing. Okay, I, I'm going to say that now. I'm going to say this now. I am not having any more of that. I'm not even doing a final verdict. And I always do a final verdict, but... There is no way I'm putting that anywhere near my mouth ever again. Uh, yeah, that has to be one of the worst things that I have ever, ever drunk on this on this show. Like, period. I would I would I would have Frosty Jacks over this. That is saying something because Frosty Jacks was absolutely vile. But this sh this should not exist. It shouldn't happen. The the whole concept of this just boggles my mind. This isn't going to turn people away from drinking Copperberg and Recorder League or anything like that, because, well, they're going to just keep on drinking Recorder League and Copperberg. I think this was... what Was this needed? Did people go, oh, we really want Smirnoff to make a cider? <clears throat> oh, pardon me. We really, you know, we really want to make a cider because, you know, that's what's missing in the market. Um, yeah. I fail to see who this is um, going to try and appeal to, but um, yeah, the taste was just, I don't know, it was, just, it, it was chemically, it was absolutely artificial, the tastes were just, again, it just tasted mouldy, it, it, it tasted off, and just, yeah, abysmal, absolutely abysmal. Um, yeah, I don't think it's... Uh, that is going to come in as any surprise, but Smirnoff Cider's Passion Fruit and Lime is going to get a 1 out of 10. I was even considering doing my first ever 0 out of 10, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. But this is essentially, yeah, one of the worst things I have ever tried. So, yeah, 
there we go. Another episode of Cider Pop Central. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed my torment and torture in this, because, yeah, this is definitely going to go straight down the sink after I finish this video. No questions asked. So, until next time, I will be back with another delicious and, well, I'm hopefully going to say a tasty cider soon. But, yeah, no, no final taste, fourth final verdict, anything like that. This abomination of a drink is going down the sink. <laughs> I just rhymed. Take care, guys. Till next time. Nah, you got to be absolutely kidding me.